Robert Ives, the prosecutor in Carroll County at the time of the Delphi murders, in an interview, said nothing about this case makes sense. One would think no kidnapper would select that bridge. One would think no child molester would select that steep grade. No killer would select two victims in broad daylight out in the open where he was having to hike in and out of the scene without being seen. There were at least three different signatures. This means the killer did something that was unique, not necessary for the commission of the crime. He went on and said, he thinks it's one person. A killer leaving at least three different signatures leads him to think that there is some distinct mental illness that he is not able to hide from others. We don't know if these signatures were pre or post-mortem. It's not like any crime scene he's ever been to. He also stated it was non-secular, which has since been scrubbed. Look up secular and non-secular. These are some of the images that show up. 